Hi friends, remember this week we're talking about the letter E. So we are going to talk about eggs and the animals that hatch from eggs and the animals that lay eggs. Now, we all know that chickens lay eggs and hatch from eggs. But like this book says, chickens aren't the only ones. There's lots of animals that hatch from eggs or lay eggs and those animals are all called oviparous. Oviparous animals lay eggs or hatch from eggs. That's kind of a big word, isn't it? So first we're gonna read the book and then we're gonna play a game where we guess what kind of animal is gonna hatch from our eggs. Let's see. Chickens lay the eggs you buy. The eggs you broil or fry. Or the eggs you dye. All the Easter eggs when we dye them? Or leave alone so you can see what grows inside naturally. A little chick hatched from that egg. But chickens aren't the only ones. Look, these are peacocks and here's their little eggs down here. Every bird, look at all these different kinds of birds. Every bird, wild or tame, does the same. The ostrich lays the largest egg. The hummingbird lays the smallest egg. But chickens aren't the only ones. Most snakes lay eggs and lizards too. And crocodiles and turtles do. These are all called reptiles. And reptiles lay eggs and hatch from eggs. They're oviparous. And dinosaurs who are extinct, but they were reptiles too. This is a little reptile, the dinosaur hatching from its egg. Frogs and toads and salamanders lay eggs. Their eggs are different. They're kind of squishy and small and all in these little groups because they're in the water. Fish lay eggs in the ocean and they float to the top or sink to the bottom. And they're small and squishy too in groups like this. And sharks lay eggs, and so do stingray. But look, they look very different. They're kind of green and funny shaped. Those don't look like the normal kind of eggs that we think of, but this is a shark egg, and that is a stingray's egg. An octopus is said to shed 100,000 eggs. Look at all those eggs, and she hangs them up in her cave, and then lots of baby octopus are gonna hatch from those eggs. And spiders wrap their eggs in a sack. See the little web sack? And inside there's lots and lots of teeny tiny eggs that with teeny tiny spiders are gonna hatch. And snails, you know, are very slow, but they lay eggs that hatch and grow. See the tiny snails? Insects, look at all these different kinds of insects. They all lay eggs. They have six legs and lay many different kinds of eggs. This one will hatch into a hungry caterpillar and grow and grow and grow and change into this, a chrysalis, and change again one summer morn. That is how a butterfly is born. Chickens aren't the only ones. There's no more to discuss. Everyone who lays an egg is oviparous. Wow, that was a great book. Now. Let's see if we can guess our oviparous animals. Who's gonna hatch from each egg? Let's see. The first egg. Ooh, this one is a reptile. And they're kind of small and they like to climb on the trees and they eat bugs. It's got four legs and a long tail. Did you guess? A lizard. A lizard is oviparous and hatches from an egg. Let's see what this one is. Ooh, this one has the same kind of body shape as a lizard, but is much bigger than the lizard. This one is green and has a big mouth with lots of sharp teeth to bite you. And he, she lives in the swamp. Um, 
She has a long tail and short little legs. She is a alligator. Did you guess an alligator? Alligators are oviparous. Let's see what this one's gonna be. This one lives in the ocean. She lays hundreds of thousands of eggs up in her cave. And she has eight legs that kind of go squoosh like this. Did you guess? An octopus. An octopus is oviparous and lays eggs. Let's see. This one is a kind of a bird and it doesn't fly. It lives where it's very cold. It has little short legs. It is a penguin. Did you guess that one? Hmm, let's see. What is in this egg? What kind of oviparous animal? Oh, this one is extinct. It doesn't live anymore. This one could be a herbivore or a carnivore. They were kind of ferocious and big. It's a kind of a reptile. Did you guess a dinosaur? A dinosaur is oviparous. Mm, let's see what's gonna hatch from this one. Ooh, this one's another kind of a reptile, but it's long and skinny and it doesn't have any legs at all. It slithers around on the ground with its long tongue. And if you're not careful, it might bite you See, did you guess a snake is oviparous? Snakes lay eggs. Hmm, wonder what's inside this one. Ooh, this one's kind of creepy crawly. And I don't like this one very much because they kind of scare me. Even though they're very small. They have eight legs and they spin a web. And they like to catch flies and bugs to eat in that web. Can you guess what it is? It's a spider. Oh no, a creepy crawly spider. Let's see what else we can find. Hmm, what's gonna hatch from this one? This one is another reptile and its body is like a shell and it can stick its legs and its head out or it can pull them inside if it gets scared. He moves very slowly. Um, this one can go in the water or on the land. Let's see what this one is. A turtle. Did you guess a turtle? Turtles are oviparous. Mm, let's see what this one is. Oh, this one is another kind of a bird. It likes to live in the jungle and it has feathers and it can fly. It has a very long beak. The beak is like its mouth, and it's a very colorful beak. This one's kind of tricky. You might not have ever heard of this one before. This one is called a toucan. A toucan is oviparous. It lays eggs and hatches from eggs. Hmm, let's see what this one is. Oh, this one is an amphibian. It goes in the water, and it goes on the land. This one likes to hop, hop, hop all around or jump, jump. And it likes to eat flies and bugs. It likes to say, ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. I bet you guessed it. A frog. A frog is oviparous. I have three more. Let's see what this oviparous animal is. Ooh, this one's another kind of a bird. And a lot of times you'll see him down by the pond and you can maybe go feed bread to this kind of bird. And this kind of bird says, quack, 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 quack. I bet you got it. It's a duck. A duck is oviparous and lays eggs. Let's see. This one, ooh, this is another creepy crawly one that's usually pretty small. And there's all different kinds of them. They only have six legs instead of eight legs like a spider. Mm, let's see, this one was a beetle, a little bug. A beetle bug is oviparous. 
Ooh, here's my last one. I wonder what my last oviparous animal is going to be. Hmm. Ooh, this one's kind of cool. This one you maybe see at the beach. And it likes to go on the sand and scuttle sideways. It has little pincher claws. Did you guess? A crab. A crab is oviparous. Look at all these oviparous animals. Let's count how many we found. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen oviparous animals. Maybe at your house you can find some plastic eggs and some little toys and play this oviparous animal game at your house. Teach your family all about oviparous animals.